Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2, where we are in the midst of a good character, a chef, who defeated Estuary Enoch, and has gotten most of their health back, and so now they are ready to try to ascend the Sun Tower to try to get to Irad. We'll see if we can pull it off. We do have a little bit left in Citadel Agartha that we could go back for, for healing, if necessary. But we've done a little bit of work in here. Let's take a peek over this way. All right, that works pretty well. And let's see, I currently have all three of my stews, so let's keep that in mind. And it's gonna take like two hits and burning kill a number of the bad guys in here. Ah. Alright, let's go ahead and use one of the stews. We can start looking for another one. Nice. Perfect. Okay. We're all maxed out. And it's soup, not stew. I know the names of things. Okay, so this is very tall. There's a fairy chest near the top. And I mostly just want to ascend for right now. Oh boy. I'll try doing a bit of that. Walk away from you for a moment. Great. And if I could just set you on fire, I could probably walk away for a minute. And that did not quite hit you, sadly. Hmm. What's the best way to get you? That'll work. Oops. Alright, that fireball will... Ah, darn it. Eventually expire. I missed that again. There we go. We did it. <laughs> oh my goodness. And right, I don't need to go in that way anyway. So we will just continue. Um, not especially worth it, but... I guess I can do that. And your projectiles are mostly ouch, gonna get blocked. Wasn't anticipating your jump again. But let's head over this way. Gonna wait for enemies to get a little bit closer to the center, so it'll be a little bit easier to wrangle. Ow, ouch, darn it. for the monies. My heirs will appreciate it. Take a peek in here. Uh, it's not awful. Let's use a stew. And do some of that. Ouch. Okay. We got him. And here's the way to get to the treasure chest. Alright, you need to go. It is done. And let's see. Over here. Oh! Mmm. Pretty happy with the frying pan. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the frying pan, actually. So I'm not going to bother with the weapons. Too bad it wasn't a... Uh, a spell swap. I could really go for one of those. That room is just not worth my time. How about this one? So far, so good. Hey! More soup. And I need to use it. So let's do that. Get some health back. Alright, other than you, you're the only enemy left. Great. And if I just wait here and wait here, we can avoid getting hit by the fireballs. And now I have a big climb to get to the next place. Did not see the skeleton originally, but now I do. And where does this take me? High enough that it could be interesting. Uh, I guess it just helps me get up to the this thing. 
So many void lifts. Alright. That part was good. Inside here, this looks worth doing. Good. Alright. Take a quick peek. Uh, I just realized that there's a hole in the floor there, so I'll go check it out in a moment. This room, I don't know if the furniture in here can have anything. I guess not, since it's a lore room. So let's open up the hole in the floor. And discover the way to get to the chest. I left one coin behind. Hey, it came to me. Very nice. Um, there's two guys trying to shoot at me here. Very rude. Rude wood. Uh, there's more than two guys, as it turns out. Not for long, there's not. Ha! Oh, boy. Okay, we got him. Oops. That's what I meant to do. No more stew ingredients in this room, but we got some more money. And so... Just three more exits, and the last of those three is where we're headed. Ultimately. Very good. Patience. Oh boy! Good. What do we got in here? What would I do with an apple at this point? I'm not sure. Well, I don't need to worry about it just right at the moment. I do know how to do this. It involves spin kicking off of furniture. And now I can't do it, right? Yeah, I don't think I have anything that allows me to do it now that I accidentally fell without spin kicking. So we'll just leave it behind. There might have actually been a way to use stew to do it now that I'm thinking about it. Because stew makes you hover in midair. In any case, I wasn't going to spend stew on that. Oh boy! Ah, you had more projectiles than I was expecting. The last one surprised me. Alright, that's good. There was a guy firing at me from above. Alright, and I can get a sense of where your projectiles are coming based on the off-screen informationals. Okay, that was good. Alright, and then this basically brings us to the top. Awesome. How do I get to there? Let's do this. There we go. And then let's do this. Great. We did it. Uh, except for this is not the top of the tower yet. Alright. Let's keep it up. Okay, you were dead. Thanks for the soup. Okay. Very good start. Uh, what's guarding the chest at the top of this room? Just the fireballs at this point. Unless there's another surprise? I don't think there is. Alright, very nice. We've done it! Uh, now we're here. Is there a hole in the ceiling? Or ceiling? <laughs> Floor here? There is not. Is there more to climb? At least a little. I'm not gonna bother going after the one chest. Ooh! I don't know how close I am to the top. We're gonna have the boss door as well. Let's go ahead and use one stew. Yeah, that might be worth using. One way or another. But it'd be good to know how close to the top I am. From here, uh, I might be coming to the top. We'll find out shortly, I suppose. Okay, those will shoot at me through the wall. Uh, those guys are going to be a pain. Oh, they're not a pain to get to. What am I talking about? 
I've got a spell. Imagine that. Alright, let's do that to deal with you. You'll be set on fire. And that was enough to kill you. Great. Uh, more relics here that I don't really need. This one is not really tempting at this point. The cursed relic. Okay, and this is the top. So I can afford to eat another apple because then the boss health door will give me 40% of my health back. Which I think would be enough. Um... 20%, imagine I had 800. Uh, no, just imagine I had 700. That'd be 140. And so if I'm gonna lose... How much am I gonna lose? 224. And increase by 42. Yeah, I'm gonna be, I think, just short of healing up full. Um, but I can just use a stew before I go in, because I'm not gonna be able to use that many stews during the battle, I don't think. Uh, and so do I need to use one right now? I'm not certain. I might save it for during the battle. Okay, I have not fought Ired in a long, long time. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, I'm mostly full. Alright, I have burn, which is great. Okay. I should be using this, because why not? Uh, I guess the why not is because it kind of holds me in place and means I can't use my frying pan, which is a pretty great weapon. But we are doing lots of damage. Ah, darn it. With our various doodads. I'm gonna heal up, because why not? Alright, halfway down. Gonna have a third eyeball shooting more projectiles at me. Okay. These patterns are not so bad, though. Ah, darn it. And I'm managing to get him poisoned a bit, too. Ouch. Against Stu. Ouch. Ah, darn it. Oh, I'm getting really low. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I didn't mean to press that button. Darn it. Oh, Chef. You had such a great run. But that's how it ends. Alright. Well, that was good. Uh, I need more just raw damage output on Irad. And I guess the burns are the final ticks, and he was never burning uh, to get the final ticks of crit. Yeah, I need a weapon that can deal more damage to him kind of continually. Okay, it's time for a mage. Do I like any of these? No. So let's reroll. How about over here? Colorblind? No. Dwarf? No. Masochist? No. Aerodynamic? No. Disatune? No. Disatune is not awful, since we're going to be going into a bullet hell. Soul Tether is heavy, but it's pretty nice. Soul Tether will wake up enemies in weird ways, though. So it's a little bit dangerous. Tesla Spike versus Magma Mass. Neither are my favorite. I've also got Shockwave and Magic 8 Ball. Right, you get multiple thingy doos as a mage. I could destroy large projectiles with Shockwave. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think we're going to try this guy. And we should have gotten a fair bit of money with the previous character. 
I'm down to 137 right now, but I have some things I can upgrade. So I could upgrade the leather weapon. And it would give me a tiny bit more strength. And also more leather unity. So I'll do that. And then do I can I can upgrade this, which will give me some more armor. And some more leather unity. And I can upgrade the leather cape which will give me some more intelligence. And almost enough leather unity, but still not quite enough to get to the next thing. And I don't have any more leather pieces to upgrade just yet. All right, and so if I'm not getting up to the next unity bonus, yeah, I don't feel like filling with equipment that much. And then let's see, weapon crit chance, I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot of weapon damage. And I don't think I found any other runes. Yeah, none of the other ones am I interested in here. So, I guess we're spending lots of money in here. 40% boss door healing already felt pretty good. Uh, how's my health doing right at the start? 353, it's not bad, but I wouldn't mind more. And I do own a bunch of gold. So let's upgrade that much. Um, as a mage, weapon damage definitely isn't going to matter all that much. I would like to bring relic costs down. So let's spend at least one more in one of these. And then I think we'll mostly continue working on... Uh, magic. Uh, wow. The money disappeared really quickly, didn't it? Let's throw another one into a weapon up. And what is this? Reduce damage from dashing? Eh. Couldn't move without that. Okay, so. We mana leech and mana break, guys. Then I've got this thing, and I've got this thing. Okay, I've got a quick sense how this character will go. Mage will take a little bit of work to build up. And so let's try to make our way up to the Stygian study just to get things started, I think. And get familiar with this character. That seems reasonable. Alright, so in the Citadel it is the case that despite the fact that the weapon itself is not that powerful, it's still the case. Oh, right, and I've got Soul Tether. Uh, it's still the case that I'll be able to defeat any an enemy just using the weapon. But let's try to get accustomed to using the Tesla Spike, for example. Uh, as well as the Shockwave. Great. And if I were the Sun Tower, I would be further to the right. So let's try going that way. Uh, fairy Chests lose no health. Uh, it's kind of a movement challenge that I'm not particularly good at. And really, I don't think there's many more runes I'm going to equip during this run. So I think it's not really worth the time to do all of those. Uh, Tessa Spike and Shockwave, do they both go through walls? Tesla Spike will hit a wall and stop. Shockwave, I think, does go through walls. And I guess the um, Tether ended up killing the other enemy in there. And it looks like the only way to go is kind of down and to the right over here. Ouch. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the magic Tether is doing work with this character. Alright, so basically I kill one guy, and then like two others nearby will die as well. Every few seconds at least. Okay, not unhappy for having chosen that at the start. Let's go this way. Uh, Lumex, sure. We'll climb the Tower of Lights. And pick up a few coins. 
Yeah, Magic Tether. <laughs> Very good. And quite enjoying it. Alright, and so Shockwave. Okay, Shockwave does go through walls. It's confirmed. Uh, I really don't need to break open that furniture just yet, and so just in case I'm coming back through here later. We'll give ourselves the optionality. And... Oh boy. So this room I can exit upwards out of, so that's what we're going to try to do. Alright, one coin I'm leaving behind, that's fine. So... Crit increases. Spin kicks, armor break. I don't really need that. Crit increases is one to think about. It only costs 23. Can always teleport back there later. I will go ahead and take one of these. Start working on increasing my maximum health. And still trying to find... Hey, I just got some health back. How nice. Alright, I'm very smart, so I got a lot of health back. Huzzah. Ooh, there's a bad guy down there who's pretty bad. It's just the Citadel, but let's get out of here for now. Zing! Alright, man is doing well. Uh, no secrets in this room. And... I'm a little bit worried about doing it right now. So I'll leave it there for now. It'll definitely be one I come back to later, but if it's a Blightborn, my tether isn't going to help me all that much. I have some fears that some stuff could go badly. So let's not ruin this character right from the outset. Because, yeah, in short quarters, like, this weapon does not hit well directly in front of you. It hits best a little bit ahead of you, and yeah, I could get myself into trouble if I'm not careful. Let's teleport to the Sun Tower. We're not going to try to climb the Sun Tower just yet. I want to make my way over to the Kirkwayland Plateau and see if there's any other useful relic opportunities or magic apples along the way. And yeah, we'll leave the furniture there. I'm not particularly hurting right now. Alright, very good. Uh, you're going to be a pain in the neck. Let's do this. Oh, I managed to miss. Ouch. Alright. Two shot you like that. Let's visit some furniture. Okay, it'll be a little bit scary in here. Uh, not quite as scary as I thought it was going to be. Gonna leave that top chest. Anything good? Mmm, a different talent. I like Shockwave, but I also like getting more Resolve, and Crescendo is not bad. So we will take that, and now we have more Resolve to work with, which means I can pick up more Relics. I could easily afford to hold two small ones right now. Great. Still looking for another chicken leg. We don't have all the healing power of soup anymore. That's just a lure room. And I don't feel like going after the bag of money. Alright, I might need to crescendo over here. Ah, I missed my Tesla Spike. Alright. Need to remember I need to aim my Tesla Spikes at the walls. 
Crescendo is ready again. Uh, this is all fine. Ouch. Alright, that'll go against the wall and hit somebody. There we go. And who's up here? You and your friend. Yeah, I need a better... I need a better weapon than Tesla Spike, because if there aren't walls nearby... I really don't have good ways to attack. So that's one of my current limitations. And as a mage, I need to be using my spells frequently. And I did just trade one of my spells away. It didn't really occur to me that I was kind of doing that. I mean, Crescendo is kind of like a spell, but it is different. Also, I'm going to have so much mana that I should really kind of Tesla Spike somewhat willy-nilly. Even if they miss, I can just do another one. It's probably the right way to think about it. Alright, really need some chicken legs. In the not-too-distant future, though. And get more accustomed to hitting the Tesla Spike button frequently. There's a chicken leg. Okay, and they do heal a lot. So that is good. Alright, and there's another chicken leg, so we're back up to full. Uh, defeat all enemies for a fairy chest. I am not going to do that. As I mentioned before, fairy chests really are of limited use to me at this point. So right now what I want to do is be building up a gold cushion so that if we don't succeed with this character, we will have something for our heirs and also try and find more relic opportunities. So let's try... Ouch. Hmm, you have to do that very quickly, it seems. Let's see. Alright. Patient game works just fine there. Here's a relic opportunity. And there's a chicken leg to top me off. Uh, future successor's bargain. That instantly kills me. Not especially useful in this game mode. When you only have... Like 10 lives left. I see the zombies! Okay, there's another one there. I do have crescendo as well. Alright, I need you to come back out. There you are. And then I need you to come hop in that. Re-re-risen. Okay, only one of them is currently trying to come out at me. Where's the other one? I don't know. It's scary. Alright. Get ready to crescendo. Okay. That worked out just fine. And maybe there isn't another one? Maybe there is just the one. Okay. We dealt with it. It was scary, but we did it. Chicken leg made us feel good about it. And from here... Right. Use your Tesla Spike frequently. It's not the best spell. But it'll do. And it would work against Irad. I can definitely afford right now to do this. So we're going to do it and continue building this character up. I can hit you through the wall, but be careful, because you could also hit me through the wall. And who do we got up here? Is it just you, or is there a zombie somewhere? I think it might have just been you. Uh, that is not a room that's going to be worth it to me. This room, on the other hand, just fine. Oh boy, that is fine. Alright. I'm going to exit and try again. Alright, that was fine. Uh, who, how am I going to Tesla Spike this room? I think I will struggle to do so, so let's just go past those guys. Oh, hey! Shout! I can get even more resolve. Shout's not as versatile as Crescendo, but 
I'll take it for the resolve. And let's see, at this point I am still looking for more chicken legs. So we'll try to find those. Very good. Also very good. But yeah, a better spell would actually be super good. And honestly, a better... I might even like transmogrify, honestly. If I found a transmogrificator. I wouldn't mind changing all three of my things right now. So let's see, over on this side, we got underground zombies, who I guess are not hit by the magic tether. I guess they have to be exposed for them to get hit. Oh, I should have looked more to see that coming. My own bad. Well, the good news is, the money is rolling in. Uh, that's not the best room for me. I can make it work. Because if I do this, that'll hit a number of guys. Yeah, okay. And kind of guard most of the corridor, since it was so narrow. Heather almost killed everybody. I can do this. There we go. And there's chicken leg. Just what I needed. Okay, now we're in much better shape. That room is not worth it. Uh, this room... This room is easy. I don't believe it. I mean, I completely do believe it because I said this room is easy and so I basically cursed myself. Um, but there was not a lot to do in that room. So it was still pretty impressive that I managed to screw it up. So for those of you who are keeping track on your bingo card, there you go. <laughs> Ryan fails the easy room. Can check it off for today. Alright, there is some zombies I left behind. It's fine. Let's check out a relic. Uh, hmm. That's like the death bell one. Grave bell, I believe it is called. I don't really think I want it. Oh boy. Okay, we're fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, there's just chests in here. Which could be nice. I'm more interested in checking out relics and things. Don't get hit me. Yeah, it's just a fairy chest. Um, I can totally test the spike you. Ouch. Ah. Alright. Continuing on. Ah, okay. That worked out better than I was hoping. Did lose a bit of health there, though. But it was a good Tesla spike. And for you... Um, let's just throw one here. Alright, it dealt some damage. Take what we can get. And this is just leading to a chest, but it's a good one. Uh, this one I can do. He says it fails it. Uh, let's just shout. Ah, I still failed it. Oh, man. How embarrassing. Well, I took a shot. I managed to use my one and only shout until I get hit again. Uh, hmm. Rage Tincture. Give me the full description of that because I don't remember all of the details. It might be good. After being hit, uh, deal extra damage during the invincibility window. That's not as good as I was hoping. It is a nice lightweight relic. Could carry a few of those. But I think it's not the one for me right at the moment. Alright, I was trying to lure them back into my Tesla coil there. And, oh, the bottom right had an exit. And there's also one right at the beginning, but the one that I skipped over there has got to be where I need to go. So I'll meet you over there. 
So this room that just had the chests has more than just the chests. It has some bad guys and another exit. Oh, and a chicken leg. Hello. I will eat that very happily. Thank you, chicken leg. Oh boy. Uh, there's no wall to test a spike right here. So we'll have to rely on the weapon. And then the exit's at the bottom right. And I'm just happy to take it. Oh, uh, that was the fireball that was left behind, and I managed to, like, dash back into it or something. Okay, let's continue rightwards. I wouldn't mind finding a teleporter. You, I can more successfully spin kick with some headroom. This is not a teleporter. Let's try going upwards out of this room. So far, so good. Rather quiet room. Let's try that. Yeah, aqua braces and certain enemy movements are going to be really tough with this character. Okay, here's a teleporter. Let's try... This character... Hmm, they could try to carry keys. I don't have the sun lantern. Hmm... I'm going to need to go up the Sun Tower, too. Let's try climbing the Sun Tower. I might have to turn around. But we'll see how we can survive up in this area with our current health pool. Um... That's nice. I will take these things. And the furniture I could leave to come back to. I guess I do need some health. Not all that much, though. Um, this is a good place to climb, it looks like. Alright, we'll wait for people to do that. We'll do some of that. Ouch. We'll get hit by that, unhappily. Okay. Yeah, not so bad. All right, you'll come to me. Thank you. And then this is a little bit dangerous. Let's just think. That'll work. And sure, let's take a peek in here. This is just a pass-through room. I'm more interested in doing the full climb. Uh, I can Tesla spike you right now. And that dealt most of the damage, and I should be able to finish you off, I think, with this. Yeah. Enjoy a Tesla spike. Great. Let's get our well deserved monies. And then take the top exit out of here. And hopefully we'll ascend, ascend, ascend with Gorb. Wait a minute, this isn't Hollow Knight. Very good. Somehow I avoided getting hit by you, who I didn't even see. And let's take a peek out here. This is just chests. I would prefer the ascent. All right, I think the smart thing to do here is this and that. Yeah, that worked well, or well enough. So the ascent continues here. We got two question mark rooms. I definitely want to check out what's inside of them. Ouch, I saw that coming, but wasn't sure how to avoid it. So we'll look for some furniture that might help me out. Not going to do that. This character is a little bit squishy. And then the next one, I'm probably going to have to go back to the right. Let's go ahead and grab this furniture first. Hey, pizza! There was another pizza that fell off, and it came to me as well. Okay, so we're back up to full health. Very nice.
So let's take a quick peek in here. That's just a pass through. In here, also just gonna be a pass through. So I wanna continue upwards. All right, now that you have done your thing, you can pass through a little bit more easily. Oh boy, uh, I missed, oh, darn it. Let's try that again. All right, I understand the parkour that I'm going after now. Wrong button. <laughs> Add that to your wrong button list. Ah, I need to save my double jump too, okay. I didn't understand the parkour I was headed into. I, hmm, I thought I saved my double jump, but I pressed the jump button and it didn't do anything that time it did. Okay, what do we have over here? There was a question mark out here. It's the same amount of difficulty to get to as before. Darn it. Ah! All right, at least I got a chicken leg, which compensates me for the trip. Oh, and it's a new town and another chicken leg. I gotta take it and don't wanna reroll it. I don't love the pirate ship. I don't love the shout though either. This could be useful against Irad. It's actually quite useful against Irad. I'll take it. And now we have even more resolve to work with. So let's, we're gonna have to head back to the Citadel and uh, really get some relics and possibly do some rerolls. All right, so we'll continue with that idea in mind. Let's see if we can get up to the top and open up a teleporter. Uh, the top is directly out of here. Do I want to try climbing through this room? I don't think I do. Uh, that guy is going to be a pain. This guy is going to be less of a pain because he's coming down to me. So thanks for that. I managed to miss you four times. <laughs> I mean, I know this weapon is not good. <laughs> but still. Ouch, and then you hit me. Oh, irony. That's not really irony. It's just bad play. How do I get through here? I guess I can do this. Ah, well, I could do that. Not necessarily the smartest thing to do. We gotta get to the top of this area and unlock this teleporter. So we can come back to fight the boss later. Okay, that's not gonna get me high enough. Ah, that's not gonna get me high enough either. Ah, that was high enough, but I didn't want to take damage, and then I took damage. I wasted my double jump again. I can't do that. I did it again. I did it again. There we go. Okay. Uh, Tesla Spike. All right, this is just going to be a fairy chest room, but there will be some furniture in the entrance, so I'm going to go inside and get a chicken leg, which is just what I needed. Thank you, chicken leg. Oh, also, there's uh, furniture in here. And some bad guys. Hmm. They're not that bad. Suppose I did this. Uh, did not stay against the wall and kill you. Could I pirate ship somehow usefully in here? Yes. There we go. And the pirate ship will come back after a few seconds. No, it comes back after kills, doesn't it? That's okay, I can get some kills back in the Citadel. Uh, in that case, I think the secret wall, since I'm in here and it's just that easy to get, is right here. So let's grab a rune. Oh, Soul Steel! I actually might wear that one. I don't use my spells enough with any character, including this mage, though. I mean, the mage doesn't need the soul steel since he's already got so much uh, mana leech built in. Thanks to the beard. That's what beards do, they mana leech. Look it up. Um, okay, but we made it to the top. We can get some treasure, we've unlocked the teleporter. And we can go back to building up this character and getting them some good relics. So, let us do it. 
Let's head back to... Um, from the next room, I think actually the entrance is probably the best way to go if I want to find the entrance to Pish and Dry Lake. Which I think is where I want to head next. Get that teleporter unlocked. And let's see, I've never been in this one room, and I wouldn't mind finding a chicken leg, so we'll go ahead and knock this room out. Check it off the map. But then we can head downwards, just over here. Nothing in the furniture for me. But I never headed down out of this room. Ouch! All right, that was embarrassing. Let's hope that everybody had decided to uh, get up and take a quick water break when that happened. So you didn't have to see it. I'm embarrassed for you. Just for watching. All right, got my pirate ship back. So yeah, I'll only be able to use the pirate ship once. I think. Does it happen? Hmm. Is it? Does it get restored based on a hit or based on kills? Uh, it doesn't say here, and I don't know the iconography in the upper left well enough to know quite how that works. And I didn't have a soul tether to help me out right then. Uh, this is just a chest that won't be worth all that much here in the Citadel. So I'm going to leave it behind for the moment. And this does not appear to be heading in the correct direction to find Pish and Dry Lake. But it does help me find... Okay, there's another Grave Bell. Hmm. I could be holding two of them. <laughs> and Star Sling. I really don't like either of these. Let's continue to look around. Uh, this is just a chest room. Oh my goodness. Uh, big old dude there. What do we have over here? Spin kicks, IVC. Yeah, these are not great. And I already found the other relic room, correct? I did. And I didn't choose anything there either. So I think it's time to re-roll. Bonus damage on the ground. That's useful. And cheap. I'll take this one. And then with that in hand, and knowing what's in this room, let's just kill that guy so there's only one guy to deal with. And then I see where I want to throw this thing. There we go. All right, good job, Tazza Spike. You helped us kill a commander. And meanwhile, the entrance to Fish and Dry Lake must be in this direction. Do I want to just spend my other reroll? If I find a better spell... Well, the spell will still work against Irad, though. Yeah, I'm going to spend the reroll now. Fate's Die is nice out in the field. I don't really need this all that badly. But it just means I can throw even more Tesla spikes. Yeah, which against Irad, like, I might be able to power a whole lot of damage out of it. I think I do gotta take this. And yeah, let's just throw Tesla spikes like they're going out of style. I think is the correct way to do things. Speaking of... Hey look, Tesla spike. Hey look, Tesla Spike. It's not going to hit most of you, but that's fine. Because I'm going to get so many of them. Where is the teleporter exit that I'm looking for? It is apparently off to the right. I'll meet you over there. Here's a new room. What do we got? We got the occasional bad guy. To be expected. And we have the teleporter, hooray. Fish and Dry Lake, here we come. Sadly, no more chicken legs available for yours truly. And now I would like to climb to the Stygian Study. Do I already have its teleporter unlocked? 
I do. There is an apple in here for me, so I'd like to improve my maximum health. So let's go find that thing. Throw Tesla spikes like they're going out of style. Um, I don't have a good place to aim that one. So we'll just do that and see how it goes. Answer is not well. And I woke up the Doombus, of course. And another one, of course. Alright. Did manage to kill him, though. At some cost to myself. Hey, come step forward. There you go. I knew you could do it. And while I'm standing on the ground, I deal bonus damage, so try to prefer to stay on the ground when possible. Uh, any direction might be good. That has tons of paintings, which will be this character's nemesis to some extent. Oh boy! I forgot about my soul tether also being my nemesis because it's going to be waking up bad guys. Mm. Oh! Uh, there was a spiky ball there. Purple one. I see it now. Okay, I've taken a lot of damage. Let's try to take less of it. I almost did not see you. Now I did see you. Okay, eyeballs. Come on, do the thing where you see the things on the screen and prevent me from walking right into them. So we're just trying to find the giant room that has the apple in it. And it could definitely be somewhere in this direction. Alright, champion's down. Slug as well. This guy's gonna wake up and then come my way, and he'll go through that. Great. Slug. Oh boy. <laughs> Accidentally double jumped rather than spin kicked, but it's fine. That works well for you. That should work well for you. I managed to avoid the fireball even after you were dead. So I might actually be learning how to play. <laughs> Why do I say things? Why? Why even call it out? I could have just been happy with my performance. But no, I had to say all of a sudden I'm getting good at the game and then I immediately fall on spikes. It is pretty funny how many times that happens. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Oh, it's a Mimic! I don't like you. This just in. Mimics. Bad. Also, no, it does continue this way. Okay, so my Soul Tether's gonna wake things up. Mimics and Doombuses and such are the things I need to worry about. Uh, I'm fairly low on health here. So here's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I still manage to take damage. I am really low on health. Uh, this can possibly kill another guy. Yeah, it did kill another guy. And I'm gonna risk running over- oh boy. Alright, I can kill this guy. Just do that. And then do this. Great. And I can kill this guy. Just do that. Walk away. Alright, I want to grab this furniture, and then we gotta head back to the Citadel and get some health back. Alright, turns out this area kind of kicked my butt. Turns out mages are kind of squishy. Uh, where in the Citadel have I not finished? This room, just below me. And also, how much resolve do I have left? I'm at 152. Remind me what was here. I could do this for more crit damage. Uh, honestly, I'm not critting that many guys right now, though. So I don't love that. Alright, sadly, now a chicken leg. So yeah, furniture is kind of the biggest priority. No chicken leg there, and there is a commander guy over there. Uh, in fact, let's get the commander guy so he's not currently aggroed on me. Before I try to go in here. Is there furniture in here necessarily? Not necessarily, but there might be- oh boy! Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, thanks for dying. I might be a one-hit kill. 
I really need an apple that I'm just going to use to heal at this point. I think this character is not going to last much longer. I do have a lot of furniture left in these rooms, these teleport rooms, so now might be the time to visit them all, collect the furniture, and hope for some chicken legs. Uh, there is some furniture right at the entrance to this place here, so I'll also come check this furniture out. And that chest looks actually really easy to get, so I'm going to grab it. But let's see, I have the Kerguelen Plateau. There's a ton of furniture at the entrance over there. So let's see what we can find. Yeah, unfortunately our Squishy Mage had a bad primary spell, and that was after re-rolling, like, a bunch of children. And then I managed to switch through a number of underwhelming talents. Okay, where else can we go? There's furniture at this entrance. So I kind of had some bad luck with the luck of the draw. And then we've also had some underwhelming relics, although I'm not sure what the overwhelming one would be. If we can get some health back up, I think the right thing to do... I don't think this character is going to be killing bosses, but if I am careful and lucky, I might be able to carry a key to a door in Pish and Dry Lake and just get one of those tasks accomplished for later. Sun Tower entrance I also left furniture in, so perhaps there's another chicken leg down here. And if nothing else, we're also picking up some coins. Alright, I think I broke the furniture that was at the top. I did not break the furniture down here at the pizza place. So let's grab it for any of its goodies. And I haven't gone to the left through Axis Mundi. I might be able to get my health up through here, and we might find something else good in here. So let's actually let's actually do that. Maybe we can turn something around. Yeah, like imagine if I found a Transmogrificator, for example. We saw how that turned around the run of a Dragon Lancer previously. The same thing could happen here. All right, what are we coming up on? Somewhere where I don't have good walls to throw my Tesla Spike. All right, and just get one of them. And I can just kill you with my weapon, that's fine. And there is a chest down here, but it's the one that's under there. But it is a good chest, but I tend to fall on that. I'm gonna leave it behind. Due to my own lack of confidence, Oh boy, got a little bit lucky there. Um, it's just a chest. I'm looking for rooms that can possibly have a transmogrificator in them. Uh, for example, uh, that's just a... Ugh. And this is not just a little room. This is the room I'm looking for. Show me something good. Also another chicken legs, please. A katana! Probably my favorite weapon. Um, okay. That's pretty cool. I do enjoy the katana. I'm not sure that it's going to help this character make incredible wins, but I do very much enjoy playing with it. And so if nothing else, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this run more. Now with the katana. Can hit at angles, through walls. It's got a long range. And also just a great sound. <laughs> when you use it, it feels good. All right. And I guess it's skill crits at the edge of the blade. So I should go after that, for example, like that. And then I should definitely just pop in here, because this is so easy to get. And I've got plenty of mana to get it with. 
Uh, we'll throw a Tesla Spike just to deal some initial damage. Ah, I didn't manage to hit you there. That's fine. Can I shoot through the wall here? I certainly can. And you know what? I'm even going to go back for the coins. So, question mark. What do you got for me? Sadly, no chicken legs. Oh! Boss door would heal me a lot. How much does this heal me? That would overheal me right now. We're gonna go for broke. I've already done a lot of gold getting with this character. It's still going to be a struggle uh, to have them have any major accomplishments, but we'll hope that by some miracle, perhaps I will find a place to swap out my spell into something good, and that this character might still yet be long-lived and do something amazing. Uh, that's not the right way to go, I think. I think I prefer to go this way. I'm gonna leave the coin behind. And over here, let's go up here to grab the furniture. And I don't think there's anything too important that I left behind in there. And then we're basically cycling around to the front of the area. I will kill you just for the 1 HP. <laughs> and your coins that came flying to me, thanks. Oh boy! <sighs> we'll do that. And we'll grab some money. And then I think we're basically back to the start of the area. Okay. So, where else can I go? There's some furniture at the entrance to Pish and Dry Lake. There is still a little bit of furniture here at the start of the Citadel. In case there happens to be a chicken leg in here. And were there any rooms left in the Citadel unexplored? There are, just north of Pish and Dry Lake, and there's another little branch over there. So let's go to PDL. Go upwards out of it after breaking the furniture here. See if we can get any more healing inside the citadel. And then... Actually dip down into PDL and see if we can get super lucky somehow. Alright, no chicken legs there. And this is just dead ending into a room with the chest. So, we'll take our chances. Here goes nothing! Hey, chicken leg! Nice. Mana potion, great. Uh, let's peek. Not the best of rooms for me. Let's peek over here. This one's not bad. Just go through it. More furniture. Uh, more furniture. Let's blow it up. Um, is there a secret in here? I think no, actually. Uh, furniture. Uh, I should have Tesla spiked. Because that's always the correct thing to do. Alright, we're basically dead. Oh boy. Alright, you're still alive. But now you're not. Warden Helm. Alright. Let's see what's down here. Uh, scary guy. I mean, everybody's scary in here. Uh, that room is not going to help me progress. Our goal is to get lucky and find a room with a key and then immediately find the door that it unlocks. If you were the only enemy, you're not the only enemy. Oh, boy. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I didn't mean to go down through the platform. I was trying to throw a Tesla spike down through the platform. All right. Well, and that was the story of our mage. He got 14,000 gold. We'll be able to buy a couple of things in order to help fund a Valkyrie. So look forward to that next time. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you again soon with more Rogue Legacy. For now, bye-bye.